Hello, good evening, my name is John. We're here playing Zup Zero Two as part of my series where I go eventually and arbitrarily rate and I'll review the amount we go to play time. It is with great joy and pleasure I have to tell you that this is the last Zup game in my Steam library. All 15 Zup games have been loaded up and we are gonna go through them. Now, what is Zup? If you don't know, pick out any of the videos to find out. But what Zup is, is a physics-based platformer, not platformer, physics-based puzzle game where you're trying to get the blue object to stop on the green object. Um, for the most part, this game is very simple. And the reason why is because they're trying to get you a lot of achievements. There are tens of thousands of achievements in the, in the Zup franchise. Uh, many of these levels are like this one, a Rube Goldberg-esque setup where the level just plays itself. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see how that works out, but the gameplay, uh, standpoint it's not it's not a lot <laughs> it kind of just does its thing and you you get your achievements like i don't feel like any uh anything is that been achieved from supping not saying every game has to be achievement based or challenge based but when it's when it's like a puzzle game if there's no puzzling going on then it's not it's not a puzzle game uh, so as you can see here in Zub Zero Two, these have been so far all self-playing levels. Maybe they're tutorializing, but um, go. So, um, what else can I say that hasn't been said already? Not a whole lot, honestly. They've added a few mechanics. There's jumps and there's portals and there's. Um, timing stuff but for the most part like I said the game kind of plays itself and because of that it's not fulfilling when you do accomplish something that one I didn't that was actually one I had to pay attention to there we go now one downside of this game being very physics driven is that it's quite possible for the physics to play out differently depending on just some random happenstance. And because of that, it feels less fulfilling if the game decides arbitrarily to do a thing. You know, like maybe it goes a couple pixels to the left or the right. And because of that, you don't get the accomplishment. There and then in that. There. Oh, gotta redo it. See right there, that physics differently. Because of it, I had to restart the level. Let's just wait. Let's see what happens if I just wait. That looks like a little bit more force. There we go. All right. And there we go. Target practice there. Build the portals at the right time and zup. All right.
I got that timing right. That doesn't look all. Oh. I guess that worked. I don't feel like I accomplished anything, but... Physics! Physics! Roll, roll, roll. We did it! There we go. Is that a click in the other order? I'm at 274 achievements. Gotta do that one. This has been Zup Zero Two. Uh, same basic premise. The other Zup games. Yeah. Overall, I've said this before on uh, many of the other Zup videos. If the Zup series had been one game with a good steady increase in mechanics, I would have said for sure it's definitely worth your time. But spread across 15 titles, uh, many of which uh, don't push the formula at all, even at just a few pennies a piece, not something I can honestly recommend. Cheers.